Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Savage Gaming and another tutorial in 7 Days to Die and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the generator. So there's a number of ways of getting a generator bank and that is by leveling up your uh, perks. So in your intellect perk at advanced engineering at level 3 you will be able to craft a generator bank. The other way of getting it is looting it, buying it from the trader or learning the schematic. But either way, you'll be able to get there uh, pretty soon in the game. It's not uh, much of a late game, I'd say more of a mid-game item unless you're lucky. But uh, at the end of the day, that is what you're going to need. Then let's just go over how it works. Once we hold E and open it up, you'll see you've got slots for engines. In this case, you can put in six engines. I've got four engines in at the moment. Uh, it requires gasoline to run and the more engine you put in uh, engines you put in the more you can turn on so if i'm not mistaken you can have about 18 connections running off one generator so you'll see here i've got about six or seven running off and then i've got them running to the relays but i'll get to that in a little moment as well so basically guys what you're going to want to do is you're going to need a wiring tool that is what is in my hand at the moment so you'll see this looks like nice little pretty christmas lights but what I've basically done here is I've got the generator uh, connecting to some relays just so that there's no wiring in other places that I don't want them to be. And then I've got the, the same thing going here. All you're going to need to do guys is once you see your generator and it says interact with generator bank, you're going to right click and that's going to connect a wire to from the generator bank. And then you're going to have to connect it to a device. So let's say a switch or a... Uh, a dart trap directly or possibly a pressure plate or a motion sensor then from the switch pressure plate or motion sensor you then connect it to your device that you want to trigger so a dart trap or an electrical fence uh, so it just depends what you want to really connect it to if you do want to disconnect you just rest, uh, uh, left click and then it will disconnect uh, sometimes you'll find you want to go you, you can't wire it so let's say from your dart trap to your switch to your generator you have to go from the generator to the switch or generator to the relay then from the relay to the switch so that's just a sort of basic wiring instructions you can you see i've got two uh, connections running off the switch here i'm not sure i think it's two or three max on a switch uh, devices that you can run uh, but that just uh, you, you'll see it'll tell you i can't you know you can't do anymore or the wire will just disappear but that's basically it guys that's the generator it works the same for the battery bank except the battery bank uh, instead of taking engines it takes batteries so your lead batteries and those lead batteries obviously deteriorate over time in order to recharge them you need to connect the generator bank to that but they will work just as well just for a limited period of time but the principle is the same if it's not in use it's not going to consume power it's only when the device is connected to it or in operation that it'll start consuming power and that's it guys for the basics of a generator how to get it how to use it how to wire it uh, what it can and can't do and i hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, please leave a like if you did and please subscribe to see more and as usual guys i'll see you on the next one cheers